Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is really good to be back. Got a fun show today. We're going to get into this Usyk, uh, Usyk Fury 50-50 split thing. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8-10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, uh, please subscribe to our other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research uh, and Recovery. Um, all right, let's get into uh, today's show. Um, so, Aram has come out and criticized Alexander Usyk uh, unified heavyweight champ Alexander Usyk for wanting a uh, 50 50 split. He's, uh, Aram said that's not right, especially if the fight is in Wembley. Oh, I agree, Bob Aram. That's not right. Usyk deserves a lot more than 50 50. I think he deserves 70 30 at least. He's got three of the four belts. Let me ask you this. When Usyk, I mean, when, uh, <laughs> when, when Spence went to negotiate with Crawford, did Crawford, did Spence ask for 50 50? He said, I think I can get 50-50. No, he didn't. He didn't ask for 50-50. Usyk's number one pound pound fighter in the world. He's got three or four heavyweight belts. I don't know why he'd sell himself. I hate when fighters sell themselves short like this. I hate it when fighters sell themselves short like this. Why would Usyk ask for 50-50? He should ask. He should start negotiations at 75-25. Why? Because he got three or four belts. We can come down. Come down. You know, I go high, you, you go low, we meet in the middle. But if I'm Usyk, I'm starting negotiations at 75%. Why? Because I got 75% of the belts. I'll come down. I'll come down. I'll take 60. I'll take 60. You know, I'll take 55. But I'm getting the lion's share. Why would Usyk not get the lion's share of the uh, of, of the purse? He beat Joshua twice. The biggest, baddest man in, in the planet, right? The, the king of the heavyweight division. Usyk beat him twice. He's got three to four belts. Number one pound for pound fighter in the world. He's going to ask for 50 50. And that, like, why would you start there? No, I want 75. We can come down. We can come down. That's where I start my negotiations with. Bob Arab saying he doesn't deserve 50 50 is insane. It's absolutely certifiably insane. I, I really think that this is just something that Fury doesn't want. Fury can't beat Usyk. We know this. What's he going to outbox him over 12 rounds? Right? If Joshua couldn't knock him out, if Chizora, if bigger hitters than Fury couldn't get rid of um, Usyk, Fury can't get rid of him. Fury's not going to knock him out. So what's he going to outbox Usyk over 12 rounds? It's not going to happen. Fury can't beat Usyk, and everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Fury wanted to fight Wilder. Send the contract, I'll sign it. Wanted to fight Joshua. Send the contract, I'll sign it. Um, Alexander Usyk. Well, you know, I need half a billion dollars. I need four or five hundred million dollars. You know, maybe, you know, make your best offer. Then maybe, you know, I'll fight him. I don't know. I might be retired. Who knows? Derek Chisora wants to fight you. Oh, I'll do it. I'll fight Chisora. Come on, man. Like, it, it's so utterly ridiculous. Fury's not fighting Usyk. Why? Because Fury can't beat Usyk. Who and and who thinks that Fury can't beat Usyk? Bob Arum and Ty, and Tyson Fury think that Fury can't beat Usyk because he can't beat Usyk. Look, I'm not saying Usyk is going to go down with his legacy as one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time. He just does. He's not going to have a long enough run in the division to do that. That being said, you take Usyk right now. This Usyk. This current version of Usyk. Are there 10 p people in the history of the heavyweight division that can beat him? Absolutely not. 
But it, again, he's not going to have the run there, right? He's not going to have the legacy. He's not going to have enough wins in the division. But that being said, are there 10 guys in the heavyweight, in the history of the heavyweight division that can beat this version of Usyk? No. No, there's not. That's how good Usyk is. Um, and Fury's not one of them. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I used to be called the Fury fanboy. I picked Fury to beat Wilder three times. Right? Like, I'm just saying, like, Fury has lapses. I don't even know what Fury is right now. Like, he's not beating Usyk. And everybody knows he's not beating Usyk, which is why he fights Derek Chisora. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He's not fighting, he's not fighting him. Right? I mean, it's always an excuse. Fury thinks he deserves 50-50 in this fight. He thinks he deserves more than 50-50? Based on what? Does anyone think Crawford deserves 50-50? Does anyone think Crawford deserves 50-50 in a Spence fight? No, he doesn't. Right? Because Spence owns three to four belts. Crawford doesn't. Crawford fights the top-ranked diet. Fury has basically fought a top-ranked diet. I, I know Crawford's not with top-ranked anymore. Who has he fought since he's left top-ranked David Avedisian, right? Like, if I'm Usyk, I do not take this fight for less than 51%. There's no reason to. Like, there's no reason to take this fight and not get the lion's share of the purse. And I don't, you know, you, it's got to, the split's got to be in your favor. You've got three of the four belts. You're the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. The split's in my favor. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, um, yeah, I, and kind of, you know, my impression of Usyk being you know, uh, a top-notch heavyweight, you know, I, I compare his run at uh, heavyweight to Penny Hardaway or, or, or Tracy McGrady. As basketball fans, you know, really, really good runs, but short, right? And and, and, and they, 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 their run at the top was shortened by injuries, right? But Penny Hardaway, it is very, very best. 1996, 1997, 1998, Penny Hardaway. You can't give me 10 point guards in the history of the game better than him. Peak McGrady, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, McGrady, probably a little earlier than that, 2003, 2004, 2005, McGrady. You can't give me five shooting guards better than him. He's better than Dwayne Wade. Yes, he is, right? Like, but he didn't have the run, right? So Wade's ranks higher because he had a better run, a longer run, a more accomplished run. So what I say, there aren't 10 heavyweights in the history of the division that could beat this version of Usyk. There's not. But Usyk doesn't have the legacy. He doesn't have the win. He doesn't really rank there. But they still can't beat him. Right? Like, if, if you gave me these names, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, Riddick Bow, right? These guys are beating Usyk. Yeah, Tyson's not beating Usyk. Right? George Foreman's not beating Usyk. There's a handful of guys ever in the history of the sport beating Usyk. That's how good he is. Number one power power fighter in the sport. Three to four heavyweight belts. Why he would start negotiating at 50 50 is selling yourself so short. Selling yourself so short. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits again comes at you every day, 8 10 minutes a day. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, actually, later today, it's already after midnight. Uh, it's 1240 Texas time. Um, and also, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, it is January 17th now, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.